All right, guys, beautiful day in Kansas City. Hope you had a nice, long Memorial Day weekend. Um, wanted to, to talk a little bit today about, uh, and we posted about it last week, but PIAA's proposal to go to 12 uh, weight classes from 14. I read a few articles and thought about it a little bit. Um, and uh, one thing I think is good is that they are, PIAA is trying to make some adjustments to improve wrestling. Um, some people, it's going to help some people, it's going to hurt some people. Moving down to 12 is going to help some teams, just like moving up to 16 uh, weight classes would help uh, bigger teams. And uh, the thing is, these days, if, if you feel the full lineup, there's a strong possibility that you're going to pick up 16 points, which is huge in a duel. Um, my understanding is that PIAA is proposing this to NFHS, and uh, even if they don't pass it, that PIAA is going to move to 12 weight classes in 2020-2021 season. Uh, there will be no changes um, this season. Uh, one thing I thought, uh, I was listening to Flow Radio Live this morning, Willie Saylor uh, said he thinks this is going to hurt participation because fewer wrestlers uh, seasons will have meaning basically and so why why put so much energy into something and uh, and they might drop off uh, for Pennsylvania that's a two class uh, state they take 20 to state and so they'll drop from 560 wrestlers to 480 in a state uh, that that is that that that's that tough um, when I was thinking about events and, and there was an example in one of the articles, I'll put the articles down in the, um, in the description, is um, so what happens when there's a transition period or if, um, you know, transition period before other states go down to 12 or if NFHS just doesn't pass and PIAA has different weight classes. The example in the article was like a big duel, PA versus New Jersey, Easton versus Phillipsburg. You know, what do you do? One team's got 14, their lineup's made of 14 guys, and the other one's made of 12, and so maybe they'll just have to adjust whoever's at home. But I could see that being a reason why maybe the duel is not as exciting for coaches or, or maybe hurts their team and their ultimate goal of winning state titles when they're just in weights. But uh, also on that same idea, it's um, like Powerade tournament. I counted 12 out of 52 teams that were from out of state. Now, they're making significant changes uh, to their lineup to go compete in that tournament. And the other one is the Dapper Dan, or the um, now it's called Pittsburgh Wrestling Classic. Um, Pennsylvania's finest versus the United States. And so it's kind of like, it'll be like a catch weight for, for some guys. So, you know, how do you, how is that, how's that gonna work out? Might be worth reaching out to some tournament directors out there um, and then let's assume that um, the whole country goes down to to 12 weight classes. You got states like California and New Jersey with one class. California, 12 state champions for a thousand schools. That's insane. Um, will that be the reason that California moves to at least two classes? And would you know what would Jersey do there? A little bit different situation with. Uh, maybe a smaller population, but you know, New Jersey is arguably, you know, it's one of the top toughest states already. So, really going to be interesting to follow this uh, move by PIAA and look forward to reading into it a little bit more. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe and have a nice day.